What is up, everybody? It's Shapoopy once again, bringing you the second part of Mission Number One in Dishonored. And like I said, I am super excited about this game, and I'm so glad I got to be the one to play it. Yeah. So, um, if you guys watched part one, I talked a lot about the video game itself. Um, and I also talked a little bit about XCOM, which came out. Uh, but um, I'm going to do a full review on those tomorrow. Uh, we have a little bit of a lighting problem, so I unfortunately would be sitting pretty much in the dark um, if I decided to try to do that now. So I gotta go find some new light bulbs. Yay me. Um, but anyways, so uh, quick recap. This game, if you did not watch the first part, is stealth uh, action game. Um, you're basically have been betrayed by the people who were close to the queen. They've now framed you for her uh, kidnap or for her death and her daughter's kidnapping. So yeah, you're kind of, you know, screwed really. You, you just got to clear your name and that's about it, you know? So yeah, you escaped from prison. Now we're still escaping from prison and uh, there's a little switch right there that we got to get to, but I feel really stupid because I kept jumping and I looked like an idiot because I thought I could get through the window and be all stealthy, stealthy but I couldn't. You can also look through keyholes in this game, which I found really awesome, by the way. Like, just the pure fact that you can spy on somebody without them knowing kind of reminds me of a whole, like, Splinter Cell days where you can kind of, like, barely prop the door open and peek through it on, like, that little crack right there, but you couldn't really go, you didn't go fully through the door. Um, but yeah, definitely a cool concept. Oh, also, throughout these videos, um, this video I'm going to be talking quite a bit, uh, just because I like the sound of my own voice and I'll have to just deal with that. But, in the future videos um, with these walkthroughs, I might just become more of a haha, I'm just going to comment when I feel like it and for the most part be quiet. Mainly because I'm really energetic today and I just chugged like three Red Bulls, so I am like super hyper right now. Um, yeah, that's what I do sometimes in the morning. Um, also, trying to sneak by people is not my strong suit, apparently, because, as you will momentarily see, I will get discovered rather quickly. Um, yeah, trying to hide in a wall. Yeah, that's what I do, you know. Yeah. Oh, well. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty entertaining that I can't figure out how to get past a single guard. I don't know why. I think at this point, I was thinking I had to, like, kill him or sneak past him, but, uh... Yeah, there you go. Bumped into him. Yeah, <laughs> kill me. Um, yeah, if you if you silently take them out with like the strangle holds that you've seen me do on numerous people, uh, it's <laughs> it's non-lethal, so it doesn't actually uh, kill them and whatnot. By the way, there's an achievement to not kill anybody in the game. Um, I was attempting to go for that achievement on my first playthrough. Yeah, that didn't happen. Just as a heads up, it's not gonna happen for you either, probably, because as you play through these games, they're they're de they're definitely attuned to. Uh, you play through once a certain way, you play through a second time a certain way, you play through a third time a certain way, and you kind of get better as you go. So definitely like the second or third preview, uh, third uh, video, not video, third playthrough. There we go. Uh, is going to be me trying to go through it on my. Uh, totally stealth ninja mode um yeah so just letting you guys know uh the way i played it this time was kind of like a hybrid of i snuck around as much as i could but if i discovered somebody eh take them out why not they deserve to die because they're all bitches and framed me uh well not all of them some of the guards are innocent maybe probably not i don't know i'm just gonna blame them because i can't that's just what i do so yeah eat that You know it's awesome now? Now we get to go in the sewers. Yeah, yeah. We were in prison, now we're in the sewers. I don't know what's worse though. Definitely probably sewers to me. Well, no, prison would be kind of bad too. At least the sewers you have freedom to kind of move around wherever you wanted to, whereas if you were in prison, or, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. If you were in prison, you were kind of just in your cell and enclosed. But if you're not, if you're in the sewers, I guess sewers would be more open space. And these are actually pretty nice sewers. If these are the sewers, they're not that bad, you know? Granted, it's the time of, like, the Black Plague and everybody's dying because rats are eating them. But, uh, yeah. That's just how it goes, you know? Shit happens, I guess. Oh, well. Also, by the way... 
rats are not cool. Look at that shit. They're just eating them, like, obliterating them. Oh god, like, they're just, they're everywhere. Yeah, those, dude, those dudes are dead. I sat there and watched them for a while, because that was the very, very first experience I had with the rats. Um, yeah, they, uh, they, <laughs> they surprise you sometimes. So, yeah, yeah, that's what happens. And now those dudes are completely dead. Like, they're just gone. I don't know if you can see that, but, ugh. It's disgusting. Everybody's got the plague because they're eating rats. That, they're getting bitten by rats that have just eaten, like, 600 corpses. Here comes more of them. I'm freaking out at this point because I had no idea what to do. Oh, God. I said, fuck it. I'm going to charge right in. Yeah, they started attacking me. It's, it's great, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh well. I killed him. Just, just a spoiler alert there. Video continues. I don't die. So, I think we're good. Oh, God. Yeah. Bruce. Ugh. It's disgusting. There's like half eaten bodies and shit. What makes this game so badass, though, is it's it's just it's so unique in its playstyle of how stuff works. Also, as you will see here, I'm kind of a fail. Um, I kept trying to jump up on some place that I couldn't jump up on. I actually managed to get up here, but uh, if you actually just turn around instead of being stupid like me, there's a wall on the other side that's lower down, and you can jump onto that, and it works out just great. So, yeah, there you go. I finally made it after looking like an idiot on camera. Also, all that shit exploded when I walked up to it. I didn't even touch it. I just walked up to it. It's pretty intense. I laughed. I thought it was hilarious. Oh, by the way, fuck these lights. Alright? These lights do not break when you slash at them. And I was so disappointed. I was hoping for, like, another explosion. No. Didn't happen. Never get my frickin' way. Sucks. Again, with the editing there, definitely, uh, <laughs> was wandering around the room for a little, little long. Also, hold down the button. Don't just spam it like I was trying to. <laughs> oh, God, I forgot I did that. Oh, man, that looks stupid when I do that. Ugh. So, in your guys' opinions, um, I don't know if you have gotten a hold of this game, but if you have, uh, if you haven't, definitely you should. If you have, let me know in the comments down below, um, or if you haven't played this game, if you played similar games, do you guys go through and uh, look through uh, different rooms and stuff? Like, do you explore when you're playing games for the first time, or do you just kind of go through and try to get through as much as you can, as fast as you can, and get to the end? Um, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, yeah, just random question. Like I said, I like to hear myself talk. I've learned that about myself. It's rather interesting. That's why I like my YouTube channel so much, is because I get to hear myself talk about things that nobody really cares about, that I care about. So, yeah, there you go. You can choose to watch it or not, I guess. Yeah, there's a bunch of rats down there. I don't know if you noticed that when I came into the room. That's why I went around and I avoided the rats. I was seeing if that was close enough because I figured, hey, they're going to eat the dead bodies. And they did. So, guess what? I'm going to give them a fucking piece. I'm going to leave me the hell alone. Oh, there you go. There's three beautiful bodies for you. Look. Peace in a way. Eating all of them. Look. Shit's nasty. Then I decided I should probably leave. Why? Because they're going to be done with the bodies soon. Learned the first time. Look at me go. Yeah. Oh, nope. Didn't learn. Nope. Didn't learn at all. Didn't learn a damn thing. Yeah, buddy. Look at me go. Exploring. Feel so adventurous. Walking around like that. Yeah. It's what I do. It's what I do. Um. 
yeah, so I'm kind of out of things to say now. So I already talked about the game in the first video, so there's really not a lot to talk about now. Um, by the way, don't know what I was doing here. I think I was listening to like the intercom or something. Uh, yeah, and you'll find that I get stuck here because I'm a genius like that. Yeah, ready? Ready? Oh, oh, how's it going to get out? How's it going to get out? How's it going to get out? No, no. Oh, uh, there you go. Yeah, that's what I do. I'm stupid. Also, just as a heads up, don't uh, just drop off of this. Definitely jump off of it. Push A, not X. I learned that the hard way because uh, first couple times I did it, I decided to be a genius idea to just drop and not actually jump off of it. So, yeah. But here we go. Yay, you jumped. Yay. I have no idea where that thing came from. I literally almost shit myself when that first came because that was the first time anything had ever like come at me like that. Definitely scary. But there's some coins back here, so definitely worth the trip as long as you don't <laughs> as long as you don't trip the wire. Uh god. That was a terrible joke because it didn't really make any sense and it wasn't all that funny, but I thought it was hilarious. Oh god, it cracked me up. I don't know why I decided to carry the bottle around. I just did. Don't judge. It's what I do. Um, yeah, there's something. There's something else around here. Yeah, right there. Ooh, look at money. Money! Yeah, money. Fucking rich. Alright, let's, uh, let's continue on. Nope, there's a pipe there. Yeah, can't go that way. Because there's a pipe. That's what, yeah, that was in the way. So I decided to say, fuck you, I'm going to be a super ninja. Yeah, buddy. Also, definitely loot that dude. Yeah, buddy. There you go. going to give him a burial at sea. There he goes. Oh, he did that on the concrete, too. Oh, that's embarrassing. Oh, well, nobody saw. We're in the sewers by ourselves. Nobody knows. Okay. Treasure time. Yeah. Ooh, what do you got? What do you got? You have money. All right, yeah, eh, eh, ooh, crossbow, little mini crossbow, yeah, buddy, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, and a knife that it like extends and is super badass. There's a door. Oh, see, you could change your mouse wheel around. Yeah, definitely go over the crossbow. Uh, the other one on there, I believe, is the sleeping darts, so you can put people to sleep. Uh, it actually comes in handy. You wouldn't really think it, but it does. Uh, I unfortunately did not really think about that until later on. Also, you can slide. Ready for this? Ready for this? Ready for this? Look at this badassness. Ready to be badass? Yeah, Corvo. That's what I'm talking about. Slide. Be all stealthy, that. Yeah, that's what I do. Still can't figure out this safe. Um, I think that jelly share no, it had something to do with it. Uh, I have no idea how to interpret that, though, and how to figure out the combination to save. Um, definitely, though, I think there's something worthwhile in there. Uh, I just don't know what it is, and I don't know how to get to it. So, in the comments down below, we should definitely open up a discussion on that, because this game's only a week old, um, so I don't know if anybody's figured it out yet. But if they have, they should share. And if they haven't, well then, you should all be working on that. Just like me. Except for I'm not really working on it too difficultly. But yeah, you should definitely work on that. Because um, I, I want to figure out what's in there. Um, in fact, I would love to figure out what's in there. So I'm going to try to figure it out as I go through the game again and again and again and hundreds of times. But... I definitely don't know if you guys want to figure it out or not. So, let me know in the comment section down below if you have any ideas as to how to open that so I can get it opened. Yeah, threw a bottle at it, dude. That's what I do. He doesn't know that I'm here, though. He's a terrible watchman. And, and, uh, now he spotted me. 
but now he's dead. So it's okay. As long as you kill the guy who's looking for you, right? Yeah? Yeah? It's a general rule of thumb. Ugh. <clears throat> yeah. Where am I going? Where am I going? Is it people? Pestilent. Oh god, there's a rat steer. Yeah. Yum yum, eat that shit up. Disgusting. That's probably why we all have the fucking plague. I just got the plague just because I did that. Now I'll never save the Empress's daughter. Bummer. Try being super stealthy here and uh, distracting guards. Yeah, didn't work out as well as I planned. Um, that was the only bottle that I could really find. That was in a hiding spot. Everything else just wasn't quite the same. Yep, see? That dude's body, man. Now we're up. Oh god. He just took one to the gut. Come on, buddy. Come on. Yep, yeah, there he goes flying. Oh, there he goes. Oh, and there's the fourth one. Yeah. All dead. All because of me. Yeah, I went looking for the dude to see if he was, like, just him floating in the water. No, he was just gone. <laughs> you got messed up. That's what I do. I don't know where I'm going now. Oh, oh, we're nearing the end here, I think. Yep, yep, we're close to the end. Um. So, yeah, guys, remember to please like this video uh, if you like it. If you don't like it, tell me why in the comments down below. Um, or send me a very angry message on YouTube, I guess, uh, if that's what you do. Um, also, remember to subscribe to our channel. Uh, we work really hard on our videos, and we really appreciate all the support and love that we can get. Um, you guys are the reason why we make these videos, and you guys are the reason why we love making those vid these videos. Um, so we're trying to expand and we're trying to grow and we're trying to become a bigger uh, household, you know, YouTube name. So if you guys could please show us some love, we appreciate it. Um, if you don't love us though, you know, we understand. Uh, maybe we're just not for you. So remember to like this video, subscribe, and uh, hopefully I will see you guys as soon as I get to the next video.